Hey, how's it going, you feeble flygons? Today, we're playing some games with the Executor, Agro, Vileplume, Leaveny uh, deck. Um, so we do just lose to fire decks. I kind of gave up on the weakness card energy I had in here initially because the, the main fire deck right now is Greenzard, and Greenzard plays weakness or uh, Faba to get rid of our potential weakness card energy. So there's really no point in playing the... Uh, weakness guard energy anyways because they do run faba now um so we do just lose the fire decks but we can beat pretty much everything else uh the point of the deck is to use the uh Rowlet and alone executors super growth uh attack for zero energy cost to initially set up a leaveny we play a two 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 so we don't prize a piece and we set up a one one we set up the one line of this and then we set up as many vile plumes as possible while we have a choice helmet and then eventually attacking with the calming hurricane or vile plumes a massive bloom and then we just keep healing with the Fragrant Flower Garden, which heals 30 damage from each of our Pokemon uh, each turn. And if, so if we have four of those, we're healing 120. If we have a Choice Helmet and the Leaveny, we're taking minus 70 damage. So we're healing like a, a total of like 190 damage reduction per turn. And then we can loop uh, the Pokemon Center Lady with Lusamines and Cynthia and Caitlyn's um, to pick up that extra healing. You know, if they hit us for like, let's say, 220 damage or something. Uh, so they can get a little bit of damage in there, we can heal that off with Center Lady, so on. We're also attacking with the Calming Hurricane. Uh, the deck is super <laughs> annoying for our opponent to deal with, but it's super fun to play. Like I said, lose to Fire decks, but we can beat pretty much everything else. Also have a Power Plant in here so we can eventually get through the Chaotic Swells and actually hit Keldeos. The way we basically set that up is we lose a mean or we play Power Plant to bump a Chaotic Swell, they play a Chaotic Swell, we lose a mean for Power Plant, put Power Plant in play, attack with our Calming Hurricane, knock out a Keldeo, and then next turn put Chaotic Swell in play to bump our own Power Plant, heal back up with the Massive Bloom, and then we reset it up again if we have to get through another Keldeo. And that's the deck. We sit here, we heal, our opponent does no damage, and we eventually win the game. Let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, up against the Turbo Dark here. We have a pretty good hand though. Uh, as long as we didn't prize too many things that leave these in the hand. We're going to get an Oddish. We're going to get a uh, Lolan Rallet and Executor. Actually, you know what? I think we're just going to use this to grab an Oddish again. Because uh, we have four Tag Call in the deck. So the chance of us finding a way to get the Lolan Rallet and Executor is pretty high. Either we draw into one or we uh, Tag Call into one. Um, or we have to use this into one. But I'm going to wait to see my top deck, I think, for sure. So I think it is just going to be a pass over to our opponent here. Um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and pass to our opponent. We'll see what they have, and then we will go with the retreat potentially. We'll see. Um, so yeah, our opponent is playing the dark box. Um, I think we should have a pretty good matchup against this. I just think they don't do enough damage. Uh, we do have to be afraid of the GX attack of Tyranitar, though actually just milling us out of cards so we do have to be careful of that this guy does one shot with the dark moon gx one of our alolan rallet and executors potentially <clears throat> but only one of them if they use that gx attack we don't have to worry about t-tar's gx attack which is super nice so yeah uh matchup should be fine we'll find out eventually um uh, especially depending on what our opponent does but they shouldn't be able to do enough damage to actually knock anything out pretty much ever um, so yeah, it's going to have to be the netball for a Lolan Rallet and Executor. Unfortunate there, but uh, nothing we can do about it. Uh, throw him down. Retreat into him. I'm going to go ahead and throw down the Gloom. We'll take a flip and a look at our opponent's hand. Nope, not today. Never mind. Throw out the Chaotic Swell. Yeah, sure. And then I will go ahead and I actually don't know. No, I think we did have a second uh, Swadloon in the deck. So I'm going to go ahead and evolve that guy up. Yeah, because uh, I'd rather keep this in hand as fodder for Cynthia and Caitlyn potentially. Um, and then evolve it up to Leaveny. And then next turn we can evolve this Vileplume and evolve this guy up. And we will be super protected from any amount of damage our opponent could potentially do. This turn it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get off the turn to attack unless they hit us with that red and yeah there he is red and blue uh there's the red and blue gonna be able to hit us for sure this turn now 150 damage well actually no 110 damage and then we can heal 30 of it uh, and we do need to start to find our choice helmet um pcl is not going to be one pcl is not going to be enough we need our choice helmet we need to start finding energy to attack with 
uh, ways to get past, past, back the PCL as well. So yeah, there's the 110 damage. Um, choice helmet would make it a lot less as well. Like I said, there's a tag call. Perfect, just on time. Gonna go ahead and grab this and take Cynthia and Caitlyn. Um, is that gonna roll around? Actually, we can just take two Cynthia's and Caitlyn's. Yeah, we can just take two double Cynthia and Caitlyn. We can go Vile Plume. <laughs> Use Vile Plume's ability. And this is when this deck starts to get really fun for everyone involved. Gonna play the Pokemon Center Lady as well. And then we're gonna go with the Super Grow. Uh, and we're gonna get out a, another Vile Plume line here. This guy and this guy. Awesome. Here we go again. Go over to our opponent. Now we just need to get another Oddish out and then Super Growth once again. Start healing more damage. Yeah, like I said, they can GX attack, knock out one of our dudes. Uh, if they want to, but they can only knock out one of them. Um, and then from there, they shouldn't be able to knock out anything else. There's a Rainbow, Ultra Space, and Hood. Uh, we did put out our Chaotic Swell, though, so the Ultra Space is going to do absolutely nothing. Uh, and we will try and get the Power Plant into play at some point. And then we will be able to just trap them. Because we have Endless Power Plants, theoretically, through the Lusamines. Um, so that's going to be our game plan. Get Power Plant into play. Um, and then go like that. Looks like they're gonna fail the ability. So yeah, they will be able to GX attack, knock out one uh, Rowlet and Executor. Um, but then we don't have to worry about what's it called uh, GX attack, which is super nice, the Tyranitars. Um, we definitely would rather deal with this guy's GX attack, GX attack than a Tyranitar's GX attack. So uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, I think we'll just go with Caitlyn and Cynthia. Discard this guy. Get the Pokemon Center Lady back. And then draw three. All right, heal. Fortunately, unfortunately, no Oddish to work with here. No Choice Helmet as well. Um, gonna go ahead and attach and then pass over to our opponent. Once again, gotta be mindful of how many cards are in our deck because of the stupid, uh, what's it called? The stupid T-Tar. So we gotta be careful of that. Um, we're currently fine. We might PCL next turn. There he is. Um, another Black Lance from our opponent. Doing pretty much no damage. Um, we do have to be careful of his attack as well, which can hit us for a lot of damage. There's the choice helmet finally. It's getting a little nervous. And heal again. And then I think I will play the Pokemon Center Lady this turn and heal again. And then pass over to our opponent. We are now taking a reduced 70 damage. We're almost healing all the damage our opponent does in their one attack. Um, they can GX attack us now, but I'm not too worried about it. All right, they're choosing not to. So they definitely are aware that probably Titar is the better GX attack to go with, um, which uh, we have to play around, unfortunately. So it's going to be Cynthia and Caitlyn. Um, let's card this. We want to get the Pokemon Center Lady. Draw three cards. Some more Grass Energy is perfect. Heal up. We will be able to now heal with our attack as well. Um, I am going to bench this Alolan... Uh, Rowlet and Executor, I think. Um, actually, it could GX attack us, so that's why I want to keep it benched, so I can like send him up. Super Growth for no effect, and pass over to our opponent. And here's where we want to start getting a bunch of stuff back out of our discard pile, and then making sure our opponent can't beat us with the uh, Giga Fall. All right, they're just going to hit us. Now we're going to heal up once again. 20 damage to our benched dude. I'm gonna go ahead and commit the last grass here to be able to attack. Massive Bloom, Massive Bloom, PCL, and then attack to heal literally all the damage our opponent did. Um, and then yeah, PCL, heal up this guy again. And then Calming Hurricane, 10 damage only on our Alolan Rally and Executor. Now if they do want to GX attack us with this guy, they can, um, but it won't quite. Uh, it means we don't have to worry about the T-Tar anymore, and they pretty much have no way to one-shot another one. Um, so I wouldn't even be worried about it. Looks like they're going to move their energy around and hit us with the Greedy Crush. Not Do not quite have enough energy to use the Giga Fall GX, so it has to be the Greedy Crush here. Which is fine with me. Going to Greedy Crush us for 70. Not that much. Uh, not that much, that's for sure. Not that much. And then we're going to start the Lusamine Chain up. Uh, but just getting back as many cards as possible so that way don't lose to the giga fall gx's full effect which is discard the top 15 cards of our deck uh yeah we don't want to lose to that so we'll go 
go draw. I'm going to start setting up the second Relin Executor. We're going to play the Lusamine. We're going to get back PCL and Caitlyn and Cynthia. Then we're going to Fragrant Flower Garden. And then uh, Fragrant Flower Garden again. And then we're going to attack and have 60 damage left on our Rowlet and Executor. And then our opponent can hit us for, uh, what, they can hit us for minus 70 at 140, which is not enough to knock us out. And then we're going to heal pretty much all the damage again. Gigafall GX 180, not enough to knock us out. Short 30 damage there. Once again, heal. And heal. And now that they've GX attack, we don't have to worry about deck size anymore. Uh, heal twice. We're going to PCL our active once again. Uh, attached to our benched. And then Calming Hurricane. Knockout. Heal 30 more damage. <laughs> And that should pretty much be game. Our opponent should no longer have enough damage to knock out anything of ours. Uh, the only thing I would be scared of uh, anymore would be the Mega Low Punny, potentially. Um, but even then, I don't think I'm really that scared of that either. Uh, we've got another Oddish, so we can create another Vile Plume if we ever want to. We'll bench the Oddish, probably not turn it into a Vile Plume just because of the Mega Low Punny potential. Uh, that thing is super hard for us to potentially deal with, uh, super annoying to deal with as well. So not going to create it into a Vile Plume just yet. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll bench him, try and get him into a gloom, have him around as a gloom for, uh, as long as possible. There's details on the agility from our opponent. All right, set up the final guy. And there's the concession from our opponent. Yeah, there's nothing they could do anymore. Their deck does not quite do enough damage as long as we're able to set up, which we were, and we take the dub over here over that dark box. All right, I think we're up against Malamar in this one, which is a very, 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 very good matchup. We also have access to all four vile plumes as well. Um, I don't think we need all four. I think I'd rather set up the second. Uh, no, we can just chill for now. We can decide what we're going to do later on as the game progresses. Boom, 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 boom. All right, it's going to be a slow start once again, but we do have at least have the Lusamine for the Cynthia for the next turn, and then we will super growth out the Leaveny. Attach active, set up for that turn three calming hurricane. Um, and yeah, super good start. Uh, because we do have at least draw supporters one turn later. Uh, and it's fine. We are playing up against Malamar, which is basically an auto win. Our opponent doesn't actually have anything they can do uh, against us to beat us. Um, yeah, it's basically a free, a free matchup. Eventually, we just need to set up. Uh, very hard for our opponent to even be aggressive enough early on to prevent us from winning the game. Um, so it is overall just kind of a matter of time until we win the game. We just need to set up to the point to where we win the game and then the game is pretty much over they just kind of don't do enough damage to actually knock anything out and uh, i'm going to showcase that here <laughs> over the next couple turns um and then the one thing that might seem troublesome in this matchup is the mimikyu gx but with the way our deck is built we actually have infinite pokemon center ladies so what can happen is if they use mew or something they put a bunch of damage on our vile blooms uh we just go uh, pokemon center lady uh, <clears throat> Pokemon Center Lady, heal one Vile Plume. Vile, that Vile Plume heals the rest of the Vile Plumes, and then we are free. Um, so I'm gonna evolve this guy, and then evolve it into this guy, and then pass over to our opponent. Shirachi did wake up, so currently we're taking reduced 40 damage. We can also Calming Hurricane to heal 30. We're gonna set up some Vile Plumes here in a couple turns. Get more damage reduction on a line. Um, yeah, so Giratina currently only hitting us for uh, 90 damage. Uh, there is a Mew. Oh, going into the deck. All right, we're fine. Okay, they might use the Mew. I do, like the one thing that they can try and do would be to put Mew in play and put damage on each of our uh, Vile Plumes. And then what that could potentially do is if they have the Mimikyu, there he is as they discard him. Uh, would prevent us from using the ability, but like I said, we can then PCL one of the Vile Plumes, and then that Vile Plume heals the other Vile Plume, which means we can use that Vile Plume's ability, and so on, and just carries down the line. There's a power plant from our opponent. Not going to be too big of a deal, though. We should be able to find a, what's it called, uh, Chaotic Swell eventually, and bump that so we can use our abilities. Um, we'll see if our opponent has the turn one attack. It looks like they're pretty close to it. If they don't have it already, there's the Giratina. Uh, they have three energy in the discard pile, so if they discard an energy, that makes me think they probably have an energy in the hand, which means uh, all they need is a Malamar, and they're Psychic Recharging already, which makes you think they probably already have the Malamar in hand, um, or maybe they need to find it with the 
Stellar Wish. Yeah, either way, gonna be in a good spot. Doesn't really matter to me what they have. If they are delayed one more one more turn though, that's great. I would definitely accept that. That'd be great if they are delayed another turn from actually doing anything. We actually don't even have to knock out Giratina if we don't want to. We don't actually even have to knock out the Giratinas. We can sit here and just heal endlessly until our opponent concedes. They're going with the retreat to the NK and pass. It seems reasonable to me. We'll put the fall to the gloom. I'm going to attach to my active and then play Cynthia. I'm not going to knock this out. If I can get an Oddish here, I would much rather both up. All right. So Netball, Oddish. Going to hit him with the Aroma heads. Take a look. Nothing too relevant. Bench the Oddish. And then use that Super Growth. Make that Oddish into a Vile Plume. And Vile Plume. And we are chilling. All right, pass over to our opponent. And then we are going to rinse and repeat and do the same thing again. Next turn, we're going to tag call, get ourselves to Cynthia's and Caitlyn's. Uh, and we're going to start getting back uh, the Lusamine. Yeah, this is going to be pretty straightforward from here on out. Just going to set up our Vile Plumes. Uh, use super growth, super growth one more time. Get out a third Vile Plume. That way, every time they hit us for 90, we heal the 90. Actually, with Calming Hurricane, we'll heal 120 damage. And then there's our opponent will actually be doing zero damage a turn. And yeah, there's nothing they can do about it. There's absolutely no way for them to get around this scenario that I know of. Uh, maybe they can come up with something. We'll see. Um, I doubt it. I don't think it exists. But uh, maybe they got something up their sleeve. We'll see here. Uh, if they have something special in their Malamar deck, I don't know. An Ultra Necrozma is kind of annoying to deal with. Uh, definitely... You can definitely deal with it it's just kind of annoying um yeah definitely annoying but definitely manageable so they need a lot so they need a lot of stuff here um there's another NK. that's definitely not it and there's a psychic recharge and here they come up with the shadow impact only gonna hit us like i said only gonna hit us for 90 and then if we get another viable amount this turn or it doesn't matter if we get out next turn that's also fine we're gonna heal 90 damage on the turn with the fragrant flower gardens um and make it pretty much impossible for our opponent to do enough damage to ever win the game. There's the Giratina and the Shadow Impact for 90 damage. Boop. All right, my turn. Let's see, gonna tag call. Get uh, two Caitlyn and Cynthia's. Cynthia and Caitlyn's. Play one, boom, get rid of the Leaveny. Grab ourselves the Lusamine. Draw three, perfect, net ball. Grab ourselves the Oddish, which we will then turn into a Vile Plume. Catch the Oddish, gonna use this, heal up 30 damage, and then go with that, uh, I guess we'll use him as well. Aroma, take a look at our opponent's hand. Oh, Espioxis. I guess I'd rather force that onto the bench than have him have another option or something else. Um, yeah, we can go ahead and force that onto the bench. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit them with... Could bench this guy and attach to it. No, I think we're just gonna go with the super growth once again, make this Oddish into a Vile Plume. And now we're healing all the damage our opponent can do to us in one turn. And we could even get out another Vile Plume if we want to later on in the game. Don't need it right now, so we're not going to do it right now. But later on, if we do want to get out another one, we can. And now we're basically just looking for our, uh, what's it called at this point? We're just looking to get our, um, oh, what's it called? We're looking to get our, uh, man, I can't even think of what it's called. But I know it's called something. Uh, Pokemon Center Lady. Now we just want Pokemon Center Lady to make it even that much harder for our opponent to deal, for our opponent to deal any damage to us. Uh, on any given turn. Just looking for the Pokemon Center later. So we're just gonna keep digging with uh, Cynthia and Caitlyn here. Keep looking for that. That's what we're digging for. We're probably gonna set up our second Alolan, uh, Rowlet and Alolan Executor here actually as well. Put him on the bench, attach a grass to him, and then build him up just in case we want to utilize him. We'll see, we might, we might not. I actually think I might just super growth out this guy next turn. Um, but if we don't attack, then I guess our opponent could do their GX attack and knock out this guy, but that would be fine. 
So I think I will just super growth out the uh, the gloom into a vile plume. Because they could do that anyways. They could like hard retreat and then switch, but they might be out of switch. Yeah, it looks like they are out of switch. Oh well, there we just drew the vile plume. So that's even better. That's literally the perfect draw. Um, go ahead and discard the power plant. I think I don't think we need that. And this one, go ahead and get a Cynthia. Draw three cards. Keep building on the hand. Like I said, we do want to find the what's it called, but if we don't find it anytime soon, that's fine. We already did get rid of our Levany, so I guess we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of the Swadloon. And we could have built up another line, so maybe I should have held on to both those to have the potential to do that. I guess I probably should have. Bench the Rowland Executor, throw the Chaotic Swell in play, and then heal everything up with the Flower Garden. Heal. Heal. And once again, heal. I'm gonna go ahead and play the tag call so we don't top deck any of these cards. I just put them in the hand instead. And then Calming Hurricane, knockout, heal, 30 more damage, and we are in the lock mode. Our opponent doesn't do enough damage to really do any damage. Um, set up a fourth vile plume eventually if we want to. Basically nothing our opponent can do at this point. I'm interested to see where they put the spell attack damage. The one thing they can do, because we did not um, keep the leave any line, uh, is they could knock this guy out. Or they can knock this guy out with the GX attack of cross division, but that means they can't knock this guy out with the GX, GX attack of cross division later on. So I would, I don't want them to knock this guy out. If they want to knock this guy out, they can go for it. I don't really care. They can knock this guy out with uh, cross division all they want. Once they don't have cross division anymore, we're not really scared of anything. And our second Alolan Rowlet and Executor will clean up the rest of the game. Um, but if they knocked out this guy, we'd be, ta we'd be taking 40 more damage a turn than what we'd want to be taking, which is a little bit annoying. Shouldn't, once again, shouldn't be a big deal though. And we should just win eventually anyways. Uh, but it looks like they're attacking us with Tina this turn. But now that we have the PCL, we're gonna be able to fully heal this Rowlet and, Rowlet and Executor and then keep swinging from there. I thought because they put the four spell tag damage here that they would definitely have gone with this guy. Um, looks like not opting to do that though. Yep, another spell tag, but I think we'll actually be able to heal literally all the damage they do uh, this turn. We should almost have a clean Alolan uh, Rowlet and Executor after this turn. I'm pretty sure. We'll find out here in just a second for sure, but um, I'm not gonna do the math in my head right now. Lily, let's see. Yeah, I guess we'll, yeah, we'll fully heal any damage they deal to us this turn. And then they can end up putting four spell tag damage back on it if they want, but it doesn't really matter to us. Uh, that's not going to be enough to knock it out. It's too big. A little bit too big for that. Um, but yeah, if they want to, they can go for it. More power to them. There's the attachment to the Espion Deoxys. Yeah, so I thought they should, I think they should have gone Espion Deoxys, clean up Levini this turn. Opting not to. So we'll see what they actually plan to do. They only have four cards left in deck, so I think actually they're probably gonna deck out before we even draw our prize cards here. Um, there's a reset stamp. There's another card that would leave their deck if they play it though. Yeah, there's only three cards left in their deck. So I think they're probably gonna deck out before we even have a chance to draw all of our uh, all of our prize cards here. Um, heal them up. Heal them up again. One more time. Pokemon Center Lady. Attach to the bench and then Calming Hurricane for the knockout. Going down to zero damage on our board. Um, our opponent will get to put their spell tag damage somewhere, but uh, it is kind of nice to remove everything that was currently in play and we'll see where they throw that. I don't I have no idea where they would possibly throw it. Um, it like I said, I don't think it matters at this point. Three cards left in deck. I mean, how many Cynthia's do they even have left? Two Cynthia's left, so they can refresh their deck a couple times, but they only have nine cards total. So if they play a Cynthia, they go down to eight cards and keep going down and down further from there. So yeah, looking pretty good for us here. I don't expect to lose this one uh, at all. They just simply don't have enough damage to close out the game before they deck out. Um, and even if they, yeah, I think we'd all, we'd also draw our, our all of our prize cards before they could possibly do it. There we go, they're going with the, what's it called though, it looks like this turn finally, the Espeon Deoxys. So they will be able to knock out our Levini. A little bit annoying, but we can just set up our fourth vile plume in its spot. And instead of reducing damage by 40, we'll heal an extra 30 damage each turn, which seems like a fine trade-off to me. I don't really mind. That seems like a fine trade-off to me. Yeah, there's the energy to the Espeon Deoxys. 
Um, so yeah, they're gonna go with that. Probably GX attack our Leaveny. The rest of the damage wherever it goes really doesn't matter because it'll all get healed up because if they put eight to leave any i mean i guess they could put no pretty much no matter where they put the damage it'll all pretty much get healed up they'll draw their one prize card for the game i don't think they're going to be trying another prize card after that and then we will pretty much be walking away with the dub in a couple turns here yeah only two cards left in deck for our opponent they will get a prize card which adds another card to their hand so they will be with the cynthia two times but each time they play a cynthia that reduces their cards by one so let's see they got seven in hand it'd be eight from the prize card nine ten play a Cynthia, minus one card, so they'll end up with three cards in deck, and then they'll play the Cynthia again, minus two cards. But there's a Marsh Shadow coming down on the bench, so... Uh, okay. That's a minus another card they have in play. I don't know what their plan is with that. We'll see here in a second. Maybe they play another Power Plant that they're going to try and get into play. The Distortion Door... Um, yeah, and even if they did go the Mimikyu route where they try and use like Mew to put damage on all of our Vile Plumes while having Mimikyu in play, all we have to do is PCL one Vile Plume, which then we get access to the ability, use that use that ability, heal everything, and then just continue from there. Yeah, not sure what our opponent's plan was with that. Heal the guys up. Attach. Lucimine, gonna grab ourselves that Chaotic Swell and PCL. Uh, chaotic Swell into play, and Calming Hurricane, Knockout, draw another prize card, no damage in play, our opponent has two cards left in deck now, and if they play, what's it called, they go down to one card in deck, six cards in hand, so they'd be in the same spot that they're currently in, and then they just bench the Pokemon, uh, oh, I guess that can KO our Leaveny though, so that's a little bit annoying, the Fireworks Bomb on the three prize cards does KO Leaveny, I guess that's what they were waiting for, uh, but once again, they are gonna knock out, they are gonna deck out. They'll draw one prize card, and then that's it. They'll get their one prize card and nothing else. And yeah, their opponent's just gonna concede. I think they realize that they're gonna deck out, and there's nothing they can do. Uh, Malamar, very good matchup for the Executor Vile Bloom deck, and we end up with another dub there for it. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. If you're enjoying the content, subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.